right, so it is Q&A and giveaway day today. A few weeks ago, I announced that I'd be doing a giveaway of a Marlin, two Marlins, the full size and one of the newer, smaller versions of the watch, both Batman variants. And we're gonna be drawing today at the cottage here for the long weekend. It is Canada Day long weekend here. And uh, we're just gonna start right off the bat with some questions. We'll end the video with the drawing of the giveaway, but let's start with an easy one. And the first one is M Rog. 3461 and he's asking what's on my wrist right now right at the moment i am wearing my newest watch a watch that i've been wanting for a long time the tudor black bay pro switching up angles a little bit for this one and we might end up switching up complete locales i have some family <laughs> coming up to the cottage here pretty soon so the next question is from I'm Patrick Bateman 23. Which watch in your collection gets the most compliments and what do you think makes it so appealing? Easily the, the watch that has gotten the most compliments I've ever owned. I actually don't own one anymore. I've given the last two color versions that I had to my nephews was the calculator watch. Easily the calculator watch, the Casio calculator was the watch that I've had the most people mention when I've been wearing it out in public. So I'm hearing cars hitting the driveway right now, so I'm gonna have to probably take a little break from this, but we'll try to get through one more really quickly. And SoCal Watch Reviews, one of my all-time favorite watch channels, he is asking if I have a Grail watch, and quite a few of you guys did ask the same. And the two watches that really are on my mind right now that I'm looking into a lot and watches that won't be happening anytime soon. One is the IWC Big Pilot. I just wanted a legit pilot watch. And if we're talking grails, that would be the one. I love that watch. A friend of mine recently got one and uh, awesome, awesome watch. The El Primero Chronomaster Original would be number two. That one has been on the list forever for me. Just love it. Tried it on a couple of times. And if my pocketbook had no limits, that would be in the watch box for sure. All right, so fast forward a couple of days here. Been having a fantastic weekend at the cottage, but let's get back to the Q&A. So Valenti, Valental62 asks, three watch collection under US $1,000, please. The three that I picked were for a diver, Orient Kamasu, that's one of my favorite affordable divers. I'd go with the field watch, maybe something like the SWC Bunker. And of course, you gotta have G-Shock. Next is a question from Red0332. Which one do you prefer for everyday use, Casio or Seiko? And I can 100% say for me it's Casio, especially if we can include G-Shock. G-Shocks are my most worn watches. I love all of my mechanicals and other watches, but when it comes to practicality, G-Shock just gets it done for me. Andrew Drill asks, pick one, field watch or dress watch? Field, easy pick for me. I'm definitely more of a tool watch guy than a dress watch guy, so 100% field watch. So this will probably be the last one at the cottage. We'll do a few more when I get back home and announce the winner then too. But Nia Magpie asks, I like to know what you are driving currently and what is your dream cars? It could be more than one car. I've been a pickup guy for a long time. I kind of need it for my lifestyle. I always have projects on the go and it can come in very handy having one. We just had it out today and got some drone shots of it myself and my nephew, Matt and I drive a 2016 Chevy Silverado. Love the thing. The dream car, if I could have just one dream car for me, it would be a 1968 Chevelle SS. All right, so made it back home. We're gonna try to keep this going outside, although it's pretty windy and we've been getting rain off and on all day, so we'll see how long it lasts. But Tommy, Tony Monero 88 asks, Thanks for the opportunity. The question is, have you ever considered creating your own micro brand watch company? 
and I have uh, to the point where I have the company name, the kind of concept behind the company and even the first design. I've even gone as far as getting in touch with some manufacturers, particularly Chinese manufacturers. I also have a contact for Swiss made manufacturers just through some micro brands that I deal with here, sometimes on the channel. So I'm a little bit hesitant. I don't have a big following like some of the other guys that have released their own brands lately. Definitely on the table, but maybe not quite yet. Next up is a question by Crux Ferns. How did you find this year's Watches and Wonders releases? I find it about the same thing almost every year. There's a whole lot of hype and speculation leading up to the show, followed by disappointment, at least when it comes to the hype watches. Unfortunately, there is a lot of cool watches that come out, but they tend to get buried below or underneath of those hype watches. Even this year, probably the most popular release of the show was the the Black Bay, the monochrome. And the fact that a monochrome watch, which I do love, is the most popular release of the show kind of speaks for itself. Next is a question from Arthur Pav. Curious to know, do you feel that high-end quartz watches are worth it? Like Grand Seiko or Citizen, for example. I'm a massive fan of quartz watches. I'm wearing, since we last spoke, switched over to the Marathon Navigator quartz version of the watch. I like the techie stuff. A lot of people claim they don't have the heart or soul of an automatic watch, but unless you're getting into oat orology, these Eta movements and Seiko movements, Miotas, they're all kind of made in a similar factory as a quartz movement so that's to me is like a non-argument especially in more affordable automatics and mechanicals versus quartz next one comes from roxanne page what is your take on grand seiko's spring drive movement i think it's probably the most innovative movement in decades when it comes to watches nobody's done anything quite like it i'm a huge fan and i just absolutely get mesmerized every time i get a look at one and see that sweeping seconds a couple travel questions here now thanks for the giveaway bob this is from my cool films what is your favorite city to visit outside of canada all my best i will say i don't can't quite nail down a favor but one city that i want to go back to and this is going to be sort of talked about in another question just a little bit but one city that I was really surprised by, my wife and I did a trip to Portugal, Spain, and Italy. We were away for a whole 50 days last year, which was crazy. But this place that we just kind of hit quickly was Porto, Portugal. And actually, Portugal in general. I'd love to spend some more time there and uh, definitely want to go back and explore a little bit more. Another travel question from Super Guppy Me. Any travel plans made for the rest of the year? So we were all together up at the cottage with the people we travel with the most. My sister-in-law, brother-in-law, niece, and nephew. We've done a lot of trips. They've been in quite a few videos, and we were looking at some options. Not everybody might make it, but I think we're going to go away this summer. We were looking at St. Lucia. Possibility of London this year. We, My wife and her family, uh, there's some family over in London we might go and visit over there and do some exploring and some of the touristy kind of stuff too, probably. But the big one that we're looking at that might not happen until next year is probably gonna be the Portugal. We're gonna do mainland and maybe end the trip in Madeira. Still working out the kinks, but definitely some travel plans happening pretty soon. This one is from Wolfica6086. Do you have a pet? I do, and he's probably laying back here somewhere. I'm not sure quite where he is, maybe inside, but I do have a dog named Eddie. You got to have a watchdog when you have a watch channel, and he is it. Big part of the family and love him. This is from wild it 57.99 where are you from i am from canada i grew up on the east coast of canada in a province called new brunswick and currently live just outside of toronto back to the watches here for a second and old fellow 699 asks what's your favorite rolex watch 
I'm not a big Rolex guy. I'm not a hater of Rolex either. Most people seem to be one or the other. I think the watches are fantastic. I'm just not a big fan of the hype and the cost of getting one, the availability, all of that thing. But the one that I would buy, and it was available, I remember the first time I tried it on was actually on a trip in Amsterdam. Uh, it, you could still get it in the stores. The Z Blue Milgauss. Love that watch. I think it's awesome. I think it's a little bit different, and maybe that's why I like it so much. But yeah, if I had to pick one, it would be the Z Blue Milgauss. So a lot of people are asking about photography, videography, camera gear, lighting, editing, and I don't think it's going to work for this video. It's just not going to fit in, but I am interested doing, uh, in doing a video on sort of my setup and how I make videos, how I do my Instagram posts, that sort of thing. If you're interested, I would be happy to put together a video on that, a standalone video, and uh, I love talking cameras just as much as watches, so happy to do it, but uh, just not today. The last question is going to be from Kevin Wagner, 9934, and I'm super glad he asked this. He asks, are you no longer working at Jambiju? No, I am not. I started off doing some photography for his website and some social media content, that sort of thing. And he was lending watches in for videos, and we had a good relationship. And it eventually evolved into me running the store, becoming the store manager. And I did that for... Uh, about a year and a half loved it I learned a lot from Sam the owner of the store he's still a very good friend of mine I still go down there all the time uh, and still get watches for the channel he'll uh, lend in watches pretty much whenever I want so good friends with him he's a great place to go buy watches from he has a great selection too but uh, just a little change up in life and uh, change in career paths and that's pretty much it but still yeah good great relationship with uh, Jem Bijou still all right so I guess it is time to draw the winner just want to thank everybody for contributing with the question it was a lot of fun going through them and answering as many as I can I hopefully you guys enjoyed it too as far as the winner goes if you are the winner to claim your prize all you have to do is reach out to my email Time to go 1978 at gmail.com with your shipping information, and I'll send out the watch as soon as possible. Any shipping is covered by me, but duty and taxes will be the responsibility of the winner. So let's put the random comment picker up on screen here, and the winner is... Argos NRX, huge congratulations. I hope you enjoy your new watches. Again, just email, email me, time to go 1978 at gmail.com, and I'll get these out as quickly as I can. Thanks so much again for everybody that participated, and we'll see you real soon. Bye bye.